Tonight, an I-Team investigation into mental health care for children. A lot of kids are suffering. And for those who reach a crisis and need inpatient care, finding the appropriate treatment can be nearly impossible. As Chief Investigator Cheryl Fandaka discovered, some kids are spending days or weeks inside hospital emergency rooms waiting for help. And this is a chihuahua. He's a fun-loving 10-year-old who at times struggles with mental health and behavioral issues. Who are you going to go fishing with? Daddy. Recently, after becoming unsafe, his parents brought him to a hospital in Worcester, where doctors told them there were no pediatric beds in psychiatric units available in the state. It's heartbreaking. I'm looking at my son, who is begging for help, and... There's nothing that I can do. The parents say their special needs son waited 42 days with no therapy and no schooling. Having to watch hospital security have to respond and put him into four point restraints on his bed. He's not even sleeping in a real hospital bed. It's kind of like an upside down playpen on a bed that he can't open. This Southbridge family isn't alone. A Brookline mom had a similar experience when she brought her young daughter in crisis to a Boston hospital. They too had to wait for a psychiatric bed and mental health help. This is absolutely heartbreaking for me to know that this is the only way for my child to get help is through this broken system. I completely regret bringing my child to the hospital. <laughs> Waiting for mental health help in emergency rooms or medical units is called boarding. The I-team has learned at any one time there may be dozens of children boarding with no access to mental health services. Emergency rooms are not set up to handle these sorts of crises, but they're the safest place for kids when they cannot go home, when it's unsafe for them to go home. The Department of Public Health tells us it has put plans in place to add more psychiatric beds and reduce waiting time, saying emergency room boarding has gone up two to 400 percent during the pandemic. We absolutely have a crisis on our hands. Representative Marjorie Decker filed a bill to create a database that would show in real time the number of kids waiting for beds and where they are available. Our young people, our adolescents are experiencing a mental health pandemic. It's happening because we don't have enough resources. These aren't bad kids. They are having a really hard time navigating their world. Our children need help, and my child needs help right now. Last fall, the state offered hospitals financial incentives to increase psychiatric beds. We're told this spring up to 250 beds will be coming online. 80 of those will be for children and adolescents. Cheryl Fiandaka, WBZ News. It is heartbreaking. Cheryl, thank you. Have you seen something the I-Team should be looking into? If so, please send us an email. I -team Team at cbsboston.com or you can just call 617-779-TIPS.